Hi, hello everyone. Today our chapter is periodic table, periodic properties and variations of properties part 4 which is the continuation of part 3. In this we are going to know about properties of periodic table which have been already learnt in part 3. The continuation of that we will be knowing here. The next periodic property is ionization potential. Ionization potential is also known as ionization energy. Ionization energy is nothing but the energy required to remove the outermost electron of the outermost shell. The energy required to remove an electron from a neutral isolated gaseous atom and convert it into a positively charged gaseous ion. It is known as ionization energy. Okay, then the ionization energy required to remove the second electron from the monoval monovalent cation is known as second ionization energy and it continues. Uh, the ionization energy required to remove the third electron it is known as third ionization energy. Now, the ionization energy depends upon two things. What are those? The atomic radius and the nuclear charge. Now, coming to atomic radius. The greater the atomic size, the lesser the force of attraction from nucleus to the outermost shell. Why? Because since the electrons of the outermost shell lie further away, far from the nucleus, thus they make their removal easier. The electrons can be removed easier and that is the ionization required is less. Okay. Then ionization energy required will be less if there is more atomic radius as the size is bigger lesser force of nuclear pull so we can easily remove the nucleus from the outermost shell okay next comes nuclear charge nuclear charge is the greater the nuclear charge greater is the attraction from the nu nucleus to the electrons of the outermost shell therefore the electrons in the outermost shell are more firmly held because of the greater energy between the Nucleus and outermost shell and the uh, ionization energy needs a more energy to remove the electrons. See, the nuclear pull will be more between the nucleus and the outermost electron. At that time, the more energy is required to remove the outermost electrons. Okay, so ionization energy depends on two things. One is atomic radius and one more is nuclear charge. Okay. Then comes um, trends in ionization energy. Trends in ionization energy has two types. One is down a group and across a period. First we will go to down a group. See down a group it decreases. How? See there is an num increase in atomic number. When coming to from top to bottom there is an increase in atomic number and atomic size. Yes. Why? Due to the addition of extra shells. This increase in the atomic size overcomes the effect of an increase in the nuclear charge. See, as atomic radius increases, nuclear charge will be decreasing. Therefore, ionization energy decreases with an increase in atomic size. Uh, uh, coming from top to bottom, the atomic size is increasing and thus the ionization is decreasing. That is why there is a decrease in the ionization energy from top to bottom that is down a group okay then comes uh, across a period across a period from it is from moving left to right the ionization energy tends to increase as one moves from left to right why because the atomic size is decreasing due to an increase in the nuclear charge and thus more energy is required to remove the electron and so there is energy and ionization energy increasing from left to right that is from across a period okay in this picture you can see see um, there is an increase in ionization from left to right that is from across a period and when you come from um, top to bottom that is decrease they have given in the reverse order that is from down if you take it is increase then comes um, Electron affinity. Electron affinity is nothing but the amount of energy released when an atom in the gaseous state accepts an electron to form an anion is known as electron 
affinity okay the electron affinity depends upon two things one is atomic radius and one more is nuclear charge electron affinity is nothing but there is energy released in this process okay now first we'll go to atomic radius the smaller the atomic size the greater the electron affinity because the effective attractive force between the nucleus and the valence electrons why there will be a greater force because there is the less distance between nucleus and outermost shell so there will be a effective attractive force between nucleus and valence electron that is greater in smaller atoms nuclear pull will be greater in smaller atoms and so the electrons are held very firmly okay then nuclear charge the greater the nuclear charge the greater is the electron affinity because increase in the nuclear charge increases the effective attractive force on the valence electron see this is directly proportional like uh, if there is an increase in uh, nuclear charge there is an inc increase in electron affinity also okay then trends in electron affinity in this first down a group that is from top to bottom of a periodic table the there the atomic size is increasing as i told this is inversely proportional to electron affinity when there is an increase in atomic size there is a decrease in the electron affinity see here moving from top to the bottom of a group the atomic size increases more than the nuclear charge thereby causing a net decrease in the electron affinity in this picture you can see the atomic radius is increasing and electron affinity is decreasing they are inversely proportional then if uh, nuclear charge is increasing then electron affinity is also increasing so overall when taking a down a group totally electron affinity is decreasing okay next comes uh, across a period across a period is when moving from left to right in a periodic table in a period that is from left to right in a horizontal row of the periodic table the atomic size is decreasing and therefore nuclear charge is increasing so if nuclear charge is increasing even electron affinity also increases why because they are directly proportional thus electron affinity is the highest for the group 17 that is a halogens and least for the group 1 that is alkali metals in this pic you can see their atomic radius is decreasing so electron affinity increases and if nuclear charge increases even electron affinity increases therefore electron affinity increases across a period that is from left to right then comes some um, electronegativity what is electronegativity this is the tendency of an atom to attract electron to itself when combined in a compound see in compound we have many atoms or elements in that they have a tendency to attract the electrons to itself when combined in a compound this is known as electronegativity this electronegativity depends upon two things one is atomic size and one more is nuclear charge okay first atomic radius it is also known as atomic size this the greater the size of the atom the lesser the electronegativity here also it is inversely proportional if the atomic radius is increasing electronegativity decreases or vice versa since the electrons being farther away from the nucleus they experience a lesser force of attraction there is a less force of attraction between a nucleus and the outermost electron okay then comes nuclear charge the greater the nuclear charge the greater the electronegativity this is directly proportional if nuclear charge increases electronegativity also increases why because there is an increase in nuclear charge causes electron attraction with a greater force if there is a more nuclear charge there is a greater force of attraction between a nucleus and the outermost shell trends in electronegativity first down a group that is from top to bottom the electronegativity decreases down a group see there is an increase in atomic number down a group that is nuclear charge is also increasing but due to the addition of extra shells the atomic size is increasing here down a group atomic size is increasing as i told atomic size is inversely proportional to electronegativity as here atomic radius is increasing thereby electronegativity is of course 
decreases. Okay. The effect of an increase in the atomic size overcomes the effect of an increase in the nuclear charge. Hence, electronegativity decreases down a group. In this picture, you can see atomic radius increases, electronegativity decreases. They are opposite. Then, nuclear charge is increasing and electronegativity should increase. So, overall, down a group, electronegativity is decreasing. Okay. Next. Across a period, that is from moving from left to right across the periodic table, there is an increase in electronegativity. Why? Since the nuclear charge is increasing due to an increase in atomic number. Atomic number is increasing when we move from left to right. So, nuclear charge also increases. As nuclear charge is increasing, electronegativity also increases from left to right, that is from across a period. Okay, in this picture you can see that atomic radius is decreases, electronegativity increases. They are opposite. Nuclear charge increases, even electronegativity increases. So, electronegativity increases across a period from left to right.